welcome back to another one. Today we have this cool projector I want to show you guys. Um, it, it's been great. This thing has been been testing it a lot of bit, a lot, a lot of bit, a little bit, and works pretty good. This one is Faltopu. Um, so far, everything that I've been testing this thing out has been great. Make sure you guys do check the description because I do like to um, hook you guys up with all the latest and greatest stuff here. So, um, yeah, and also, if you guys are interested in this one, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. Always try to hook you guys up. So, of course, you get, you know, your power cable. You get some user manuals. Um, wanted to pull this some, some of this stuff out. So, it's got, like, an important FAQ thing in here. Um, just in case you guys are, like, it says, like, if it has a blurry image, this is what you can do. It's got a USB. This is what you can do. Fans too loud. Overheating. Anything with the name or if you're having issues playing Netflix or Hulu or whatever. This thing has a lot of, of, of stuff here for you guys to look at. Pretty nice. Now, they do have a warranty. The overall unit um, time limit says 30, uh, three years. Uh, functional failure, defective, or inferior worksmanship is specific in national laws, whatever the hell that means. Um, 30 days if it's not working, period. 30 days, hit, hit them up. And it starts from the next day of delivery. That's when the warranty kicks in. So as soon as you get it, the very next day, day one, the overall unit. Now, projector screen, same thing. If it doesn't work or something like that, just hit them up. All their information is here, which is great. Now, this projector, I don't, I, I it's probably going to be like maybe like 100, 200 lumens. They like to advertise sometimes like 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 7,000 lumens. I have a 4,000 lumens, and if I turn on all the lights in here, that thing is bright, and I can see everything pretty good. Anything higher than 4,000 lumens, it's going to be like a TV where it's extremely bright, no matter if it's in the middle of the daytime, outside in the sun. This one, not so much, but if you have like this room has, it's, it's lit, and I'll show you guys that in a second how it looks like. This book is very, very important. It gives you a lot of the specs and how it works and stuff like that. And I'm going to break these videos down so that way they're not too long. And that way I could show you guys how to, to use this thing. But some of this, like what this thing has is you got, uh, and, and I'll pull up the, well, actually, let me, let me show you what's in the box before I really get in here. You do get this remote. And, you know, this has your menu, your source, up, down, left, right, play, pause, exit. It's got a volume button and a mute button. So if you do connect a fire stick, you still need to use this remote for volume. Um, for everything else that the fire stick needs, like a directional, that's what you're going to use. Um, it does have your, 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 your aux cables here just in case you need it for any types of audio. Um, and then down here at the bottom, you will have an HDMI cable, power cable, which I already have connected, and then just some tools here. The other thing that I do like is they give you a 121-inch white screen to use. So this is really nice to have. It even has some clips that you could mount either on the wall or wherever. So if you have a stand, stuff like that, this is what you're going to want. So pretty nice that they include this in there. Um, and of course, you do get the projector. Um, at the bottom, this little knob here, you just screw it off or on just to get a little uh, leverage. Um, this is where the eyeball is. So just go ahead and pop it off. And there it is right there. Um, as far as the ports go here in the back, you do get a uh, TF card slot right there. This is your head jack, AV jack, two HDMI's, and a USB. On the other end, you do get a power. So right there, there's your power right there. And yeah, at the top, front one's focus, the one closest to the eyeball. And then the furthest one back is going to be your keystone. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Here you also, if your remote's not working, you also have some buttons right here. So some of those buttons is your OK, up, down, left, right. Looks like a settings. Looks like a gear, reverse, power off and on, uh, and, and a source button. So yeah, everything that you're going to want is going to be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this guy now and just let it... Uh, normally with projectors, when you connect them, you want to give it a minute for them to warm up a little bit. Um, this one turns on extremely fast. And I'll go ahead and put my my guy right here for the camera. Now, I do have to say, when you do use um, these types, and I'm going to go into the features on another video. I just want to show you guys the specs, how it works. 
Um, and f- you know, for the most part in HDMI cables and HDMI, you plug something in and it works. So I wanted to show you guys just the basics of this thing. So we're going to go ahead and power this guy on right here. Um, give it a second there. As you can see, it booted up pretty fast. Um, so as you can see, there it is. And again, I have these lights on. You can see how clear it is. You can see the white behind me. There's a window right next to it. And this thing works really good. So if you do have a USB, you're going to plug in the USB sources. That's going to be your HDMI's and stuff like that. So when you do click on the, the, the source, it says home media, HDMI, AV, all that stuff. So pretty nice. We're going to go back to home and here you have your settings. You have your mirror cast or iOS cast. So if you have uh, an Android, you're going to use mirror cast. There's the instructions right there on how to do it. If you have uh, an iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and exit off of this. Just hit that exit button. If you have an iPhone, iOS, Apple, there it is. Same exact thing. Gives you the instructions on how to do it. Very, very, very simple. And then, of course, TF card slot right there. Pretty nice. So for, for this thing, the way it works is pretty amazing. Um, so you can see how bright it is and everything. Now, of course, if I turn everything off and I make it really dark in here, it's going to look great. But for daytime and I have the the light coming through right there a little bit and, and, and it doesn't have to be like if it's bright daylight, it's not going to be that great. Um, now, the, the, the things here at the top, you do have your keystone so you can move it you know, one way or the other, you want to make it as flat as possible. And then of course you could mess with the blurriness, you know, the focus, um, just focus it up as good as, as, it, as you can see it, you know, but yeah, there it is right there. I'm going to show you guys stay tuned for, for the next video. Cause I'm going to show you guys, um, how it looks like on a fire stick and how it's all set up and everything. So Good stuff there, guys. Really good stuff there. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Today's video is pretty... Projectors are awesome to have, especially for summertime. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care. Take care of each other. And we'll see you guys on the next one.